Matrix and Roadshow fans, we are back with another video and we're going to be talking about Donald Trump and woke actor Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo suffers from TDS, Trump derangement syndrome. He's one of the worst. He is one of the wokest actors out there in Hollywood. Now, that actually brings us to the um, the Jeffrey Epstein list. Now, if you guys don't know, Jeffrey Epstein had an island and he was actually doing some horrific things to underage children. And this list came out and it didn't directly um, say that, hey, if your name is actually mentioned in this, that you're guilty of something. No, it wasn't. But Mark Ruffalo is so deranged. Donald Trump's name was actually on the list, but it was kind of like. In passing, he was exonerated of everything. I mean, George Lucas, the Star Wars creator, was actually uh, mentioned in it. As in, like, uh, I believe they asked a question like to one of the uh, the victims, did um, you massage uh, George Lucas? They said no. That was pretty much it. OK, uh, Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio mentioned in it. Stephen Hawking was actually mentioned in um, the documents also as well. So. That's just going to give you a little bit of context here. But one thing we know for sure, based on the information release, is that Donald Trump never, ever, ever went to Epstein's Island. He didn't get down like that. Actually, Donald Trump banned Jeffrey Epstein from his island. Well, not the island from uh, Mar-a-Lago many, many years ago. Because Epstein is a creep. Donald Trump wanted nothing to do with him. And I'm pretty sure, you know, the uh, the liberal media, the Wolsters out there, they were probably outraged that there was no dirt on Donald Trump to keep him away from the White House in 2024 because he is the front runner and his odds are looking very, very good to actually be back in the White House next year in 2025. Mark Ruffalo getting destroyed right now because he actually put out a photo. I believe uh, Donald Trump actually on Epstein's plane going to that island. Here's the problem, guys. It was a fake. A fake. It was actually AI generated. But, you know, to people like uh, Mark Ruffalo, they're just going to go along and believe everything put out there. Man. Look at this, guys. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member. Every Friday we have our member live stream. So uh, support us that way. We thank you all. Look here. Disney star Mark Ruffalo shares fake AI generated Trump Epstein Island images get slammed. Yeah, it's all fake, man. It is all fake. Somebody now he didn't make the photo, but uh, he re reposted it on X. And tried to make people think this was real. This man's an idiot. It says here, Hollywood star Mark Ruffalo has spread fake AI generated images with his 8.2 million X followers of former President Donald Trump that falsely depict Trump on an airplane headed to Epstein Island. Ruffalo who has played the Hulk in multiple Disney Marvel blockbuster movies, shared the images Thursday from a pro Biden account on it. The AI generated images show Trump posing with a group of young blonde females. As of Friday morning, there's been no community notes correction attached to either Ruffalo's posts or the original. I was actually waiting on that, but apparently there is no um, community notes. Because think of this, man, if Donald Trump was actually on a plane going to Epstein's Island, that would have been all over the news. But the reason why it's not is because it never happened. It never, ever happened. Now, right here. This is um, this is um his repost right here. And um, these are the images right here. The fake. It is a complete fake right there.
this is what he uh, put out right here because um, this original post, I'm assuming this is the original post right here. They were actually trying to get people to believe this is real to actually go out there and vote for Biden in 2024. It says here, Trump headed to Epstein Island. Two different flights, two different groups of little girls, not his daughters, not his nieces, not something Republicans even care about. He can rape, steal, try to overthrow the government. This is their American dream. Hashtag vote blue 2024. Actually, you know what? There is a community note now. Look here <laughs> right there. It is community noted. Says, although there are authentic images of Trump with young women, these images are AI generated. Yeah. Yeah. Now, as far as uh, Mark Ruffalo goes. And it does have that uh, community note right there. He says this gross. Hashtag MAGA wants to paint everyone on these flights as pedophiles, except the one guy who smiles in a group of young girls all headed to Epstein's fantasy island with him. My bet is there are some decent Republicans left in America that may think this is going too far. I'm astonished, guys, that he actually fell for this. I mean, he's getting destroyed right here. The quartering. Hey, retard. Those are AI generated. Still miss that violent child rapist Jojo, though. Yeah, that's right. Because remember, um, um, during the summer of uh, blood, uh, Kenosha, Wisconsin. He actually was celebrating, well, not celebrating, but he was actually trying to basically post a memorial on the child pedophile that Kyle Rittenhouse shot because Kyle Rittenhouse is getting attacked. Yeah, that was Jojo. Yeah. Nina Infinity, these pictures are AI generated. Would be nice if you did some basic research for blasting out stupid stuff like this to your millions of followers. <laughs> Look right here. The Hulk is more real than these pictures. Yeah. I am not a fan of uh, Mark Ruffalo's uh, Hulk at all. His Hulk also looked very, very fake. And I'm, I'm just not a fan of Mark Ruffalo at all, man. He is a terrible human being. Keeps going on. Dude, you're sharing clearly fake AI pictures. And this person said they don't like Trump. I don't like Trump, but he was one of the first people to go to the police about Epstein and was the only one that worked with prosecutors. Making politics out of child uh, molestation is disgusting. And that came from someone that isn't a Trump fan right there. Yeah, Trump did go to the police. He actually worked with prosecutors. Mark Ruffalo doesn't care. This man is a complete loser, man. A complete loser. I don't understand why he still has a career. Maybe because he has TDS. So I guess, you know, he still has a career. That may be it. But boy, he will believe anything, I guess, as long as it actually shows Trump in a negative light. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Make sure to Roadshow fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.